Welcome into a week nine spooky edition of Football Friday Night. Spooky, not because of Halloween, but because conference championships are going to be won. Playoff dreams put to bed tonight. I'm Jacob Seuss. And I'm Jonathan Acosta. That's right. A lot of important games around the area tonight in Arkansas and Oklahoma. Teams, even though it's Halloween week, looking to show that they're not pretending to be contenders and no game bigger than our five news game of the week between Paris and Boonville. Yeah, that's a good one. And don't worry, we'll have Halloween puns all night long. And the winner <laughs> yeah. of that game, well, they're going to take home the 3A4 as well as the number one seed in the playoffs. So, yeah, a lot on the line tonight. And to be just blunt about it, these two schools do not like each other. A good old-fashioned rivalry. So let's start here in the third quarter. Paris handoff here to Blake Martins. He's going to run for a first down and a bit more, but Boonville had a 21 to 10 lead at this point. Paris looking to climb back in it. Chase Watts, he's going to hit Cooper Haley. Nice route up the middle, first down, Paris driving, but they wouldn't score. Boonville takes over. Ryland Ray, he's going to run for a first down. Boonville at this point in the game had a 28 to 10 lead. They were rolling, looking to take the rivalry game, looking to take the conference championship. And here, Daxton Goff has the ball knocked out of his hands, but it's recovered, ran in for a touchdown by Mason Goers. It also hits the ref. Quite the play there. Boonville up 35 to 10. They go on to win this one 35 to 16. All right, and over in the 5A to the home of the Cardinals, Farmington, welcoming in P. Ridge. The Cardinals, they carried a big lead into halftime, added to in the second half. Trey Moser, the short TD run, punctuates the opening drive of the third quarter with a touchdown. It's 41 to 14 Farmington. The defense, they made some plays too. First Peerage play on the ensuing drive. It's a fumble and it's gonna be number 99, Brian Bullington falling on it to recover it for the home team. The Cardinals had plenty to cheer for on this night as they cruise to the 49 to 22 win at home. Great year the Cards are having, but now we head out to Elkins. The Elks playing host to Gentry. And early on, Slate Warren putting the special in special teams. Blocks the punt. Easy touchdown for Elkins. The senior on senior night makes it 7 to nothing. Now time for the offense to get cooking. Little dump off here to Aiden Williams. And the junior, he's going to take care of the rest. He's got the clear path for six. Then he's going to break out his best dancing moves. I don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> but he's good on the football field. That's what matters. Before the half now, running back to Sean Chairs, he says, I'll finish this one off. 20 yards right up the gut, make it 21 nothing else. Big win tonight for Elkins. They go on to get this win 42 to 7. And when we return, a big game in the 6A with Greenwood playing host to Van Buren. That and more when we return here on Football Friday Night. You're watching Football Friday Night! Yeah! Welcome back into Football Friday Night. Jonathan, we're going to head out to Greenwood now, but it's come as a surprise to most that the Bulldogs, they have two conference losses. Yeah, and at this point, the playoffs isn't a sure thing tonight for the defending 6A state champions, and the team would need a win tonight against Van Buren to keep those playoff hopes alive. Yeah, big time. So let's head out to Greenwood, packed house. This town always shows up big for the Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs, well, they would show up big for them. Early in this one, quarterback Hunter Houston, 20 yards to Aiden Kennan. He's going to continue there for a big first down. Greenwood had a 7 to nothing lead in the first quarter. How about Javon Williamson now? He's going to run it in for the touchdown. Greenwood had a 14 to nothing lead. He said, yeah, we're not done with our playoff push just yet. Clark Seeger now is going to hit Christian Schultz. Oh, what a catch. Yeah, one-handed. Can you say sweetest play? He gets the game there. Greenwood had a 14 to nothing lead. They cruise to victory in this one. Bulldogs grab the 42 to nothing victory. All right, out to West Fork, where they were hosting Charleston in a battle of black and gold Tigers against black and gold Tigers. Which Tigers would strike first? How about the home ones? Eli Howerton on under center. He says, option means I have the option to keep it myself. Gets to the second level, no one's catching that Tiger by the toe. It's 7-0 West Fork. But Charleston showing the eye of the Tiger, rising up to the challenge of their I'm rivals. Not, I'm not giving in to this. This time, Howerton pitches it on the option, but it's picked off by Reese Morechka. It's a wild pick six. The poor ref here at UCM, he gets run over during the play as well. Charleston converts the two-point attempt and squeak out a 24 to 19 victory. Our thoughts and prayers go out to that referee. Hopefully yes. he's okay. Next, we're gonna head out to Harbor. Wildcats, they were hosting Rogers tonight. Big game out in the 7A. 
First quarter, tied at seven. Josh Shepard, former Five News Athlete of the Week, takes the handoff, makes a nice cut. He's off to the races. Mounties lead by a touchdown. We jump second half now, 21 to 14 Rodgers. And there goes our man Shepard. Long run that's going to put Rodgers in the red zone. They were looking to take a two touchdown lead and quarterback Noah Goodshield says, I want some of that. QB keeper in for seven. Mounties improved to four and two in conference play. They grab a big victory tonight over Harbor. All right, next we're going to go over to Alma where the Airedales, they were hosting Greenbrier. Greenbrier, they would actually get on the board early in this one here, kicking a short field goal. Hey, we show the kickers sometimes missing field goals. Punchers we're going to show kickers, them. They're people too. Yeah, they're people too, so we're going to show them making field goals. Greenbrier kept up the pace. Number nine, Cooper Vaden, or Wilcox completing a pass to Jacob Mathis in the end zone. That made it 10 to nothing. Then, again, Vaden Wilcox here finding instead Elijah Weaver in the back of the end zone. A sweet throw from 20 yards out. That made it 17 to nothing. Greenbrier early in the second quarter. And then Greenbrier, they roll away with the victory, 59 to 28. Rough night for Alma, but not a rough night for us. We're just getting started here on Football Friday Night. When we return, we're going to head to Fort Smith and Northside. That's right. And we're going to see if the Grizzlies could get a must-needed win when Football Friday Night returns. Welcome into the final quarter here on Football Friday Night where the Northside Grizzlies, oh, they've lost their last two conference games by a combined eight points. Yeah, they've had some tough ones. But their playoff hopes, not dead yet, not skeletons like Halloween. But the Grizzlies sit just one back of Cabot who just so happened to make the trip tonight to Fort Smith. Yeah, so if you talk about big games, this one would be it. Fort Smith was rocking. This is what these guys live for. But Cabot was off and running early. Grant Freeman here scrambles away from defenders before connecting with Chandler Carter. He takes it 20 yards into the end zone. We would go into halftime tied at 14. But out of the break, here come the Grizzlies. Xavion Zephyr, who love a little defense, picks off the pass from the quarterback. Northside had the ball and they were moving. But Cabot, they would grab the win on this night. Northside, another tough loss here in conference play. Cabot gets the win 28 to 21. Over in the 3A1, the Greenland Pirates playing host to the Hornets from Hackett. We'll pick it up in the second quarter. The Pirates, they were down 10, but they were driving. They handed off to Seth Center. He says he sees the lane for the cutback and he's gone for six. Here, he plunges into the end zone. A missed two point attempt brought Greenland to within 22-18. After Hackett pick six, Greenland ball again. Maybe one of the craziest plays of the season. The high snap, the fumble recovery, and then the presence of mind to pitch it to Hayden Medlock. Oh he returns the scoop and score for one of the best touchdowns of the week, if not the season. The Hornets win 66-42 on the road and are one win away from hosting a playoff game. Wow, that is quite the play here. Let's check out some of the scores that we didn't get to tonight. Big win for Bentonville. Cedarville gets a win. Prairie Grove. Ozark, big win over Lamar. Jonathan, a lot going on here That's tonight. That's right, and Fayetteville staying hot too with that 42-14 when they're Fayetteville and Shiloh. They just put up the points and they keep rolling. Yeah, Shiloh was actually down 6 nothing at one point in this game. Yeah, they just happened to outscore grab it 62-6 from that point on. A lot of good stuff here tonight, but that's going to wrap us up here in Week 9 on Football Friday Night. One more week left of the regular season. I know things are starting to get to that time of the year. Cold weather, playoff weather. Good stuff. Stick with us. Have a great weekend, everybody.